Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm going to get right into the reading. So whatever the cards want to say, please keep in mind that I do channel multiple energy groups on here. So never try to force it to fit. Only take it if it resonates. If you are part of this specific energy group, you'll, you'll know. Intuitively, you'll know the reading will make sense to you. And I really appreciate your comments. Uh, liking the video, sharing, subscribing if it resonates and you want to be on the channel and get regular updates from me. I think there's a little bell notification. I usually don't say that, but for some reason I'm being called to tell someone to push the bell notification. <laughs> Maybe there's something coming up in the near future that someone on here needs to see. But as always, go with your own intuition. Do what feels right for you. Okay, what's the storyline? What is... So for this specific energy group, what does someone on here need to know? Queen of Cups, Nine of Cups, Eight of Wands. The Empress. Ooh, okay. Hold on. I mean, someone's definitely leveling up. You have your wishes being fulfilled. You're going from being a queen of cups, so you're very warm, loving, empathic, nurturing. You're a very caring person. You're a very good person. Even if you don't feel like you are at times, I feel like, because bad people don't realize they're bad people. You know what I mean? Like people that just cheat and lie and just steal from others and just drag others down, they they always try to justify it or they always, you know, they make excuses for themselves and they don't feel that bad about it a lot of the time. But someone who's like a genuinely good person, it's like if you tell a lie, you're going to feel guilty about it. You know what I mean? If you do something wrong, it's like you're going to want to hold, hold yourself accountable and fix it. You know, and everyone makes mistakes. But I, I feel like, you know, you're a genuinely good person. You hold yourself to a high standard. And because of that, I feel like your wishes are being fulfilled. You're being rewarded for being that kind of person consistently. And you're going from being a queen of cups to being an empress. So the empress is like, the empress and the high priestess, I would say, are the most powerful feminine energies in the entire tarot deck. I feel like you're also, because the empress is also about nature. The empress can be, it's, it's like a motherly energy. So it can also be about... Oh, for some, it could even be a child. For some, it might even be a pregnancy. It's like you've been trying for a child. Um, and not for everybody, but for some, that could be coming in because it's like you're ready. You've passed whatever karmic tests that you had to go through. You've passed all that and you're ready to be a mother. Um, could even be ready to adopt an animal for some. But uh for others, I just see it as like being connected with your feminine energy more. You're becoming a higher version of yourself. You're, and this could be for a man too. Like you might just be becoming, you know, you can you can be a man and be in the Queen of Cups Empress energy too. You know, it's like you're becoming more grounded, more spiritual, more open hearted, more free spirited, more connected to nature. I feel like you're getting this side of yourself back. It's like your higher self is coming through, and you're at a a point where you're able to merge with your higher self more you know what I mean like you're not so in your head now as maybe you were in the past I feel like you being the queen of cups and you being open-hearted and you being consistent with that energy and it's like you can't always be the queen of cups obviously sometimes you have to be the queen of swords and be assertive and put your foot down in, in certain situations but I feel like even when you have to be the queen of swords, you still balance it out. Like you're not just a heartless, cold person. You speak your truth. You you stay in this assertive energy, but you still try to be fair to everyone involved. You know, I feel like justice, um, honor, those are they're very high ideals for you. Honesty, it's a very high ideal for you. Um, so even when you do have to be a little bit bitchy, you do it in a, a way where you still have integrity. Does that make sense? So I, I feel like it's like you've just proven yourself. You've proven yourself to the people around you, to yourself, to your spirit guides, and, you know, you're you're being rewarded. You're leveling up and becoming the empress. Um, this is a, a side of yourself. There could even be spiritual gifts that are coming in, like psychic gifts, you channeling more. It could be uh, like clairvoyance, clairaudience, clairsentience, 
claircognizance, maybe like one of those uh, spiritual abilities as well, those psychic abilities is going to become much stronger now because of it, it's like this trial that you've went through this this phase that you've you've passed. You, you really, I think that you, you more than just passed, you really, you had such a high level of integrity. You really stayed true to yourself and your spirit guides are just very proud of you for that. You didn't lose yourself no matter how hard it got. And it's okay to like get depressed. It's okay to be angry. You know, you're human. But I feel like even when you were depressed or angry or upset, it's like you you felt those emotions. Maybe you journaled about them. Maybe you vented to somebody, but you didn't get to a point where you're just like, I'm going to destroy other people because of it. You know what I mean? Like you didn't you didn't even if you thought that felt like you were going to lose yourself, you ultimately didn't end up losing yourself. You still came back to your soul, to being who you truly are. You know what I mean? Like you still, even if it wasn't like a straight line, like a little bit of a wave, you you never went too far off your path. Um, and, and yeah, you're being rewarded for having that high level of integrity for really just knowing yourself that deeply. You know, it's like, you know who you are and you stay true to yourself. So, so you're being rewarded by leveling up and becoming the empress and, I think this is a side of yourself that maybe you missed as well. It's like it's always been within you and now you get to merge with it more. Like it's like this free spirited, motherly, just just this this very deep spiritual energy, this very deep connection to to your higher self, to nature, universal truth, universal knowledge. You might even be receiving access to like the the um what is it? The, the, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. The Akashic, Akashi, ah, sorry, Akashic records. Um, like you're getting spiritual gifts and you're getting this side of yourself back. So it's a really beautiful energy. Tell me more. Tell me about the two of wands. Cause I just keep getting like nature, like you're getting, it's like, I think you've always been connected to nature, even when you're the queen of cups, but I feel like you, maybe in childhood or when you were younger, you had an even deeper connection to nature, like to the mountains, the rivers, uh, to the trees. It's, it's like you could feel the energy. Um, and, and maybe it's like you've missed, it's like there's a certain uh, connection that comes with being the empress, but it doesn't feel like, I mean, yeah, there might be physical like human connections that come with it, but it feels like more like a connection with a certain energy, like nature or like certain spirit guides that come with being the empress. So it's it's like a side of yourself that you missed. It's a it's a very deep connection to this adventurous free-spirited side to to nature that I feel like you missed that you're that you're you're coming into that deeper connection with it now. Um anyway, let's get off that cuz I know I've been rambling on that. So let's let's move forward. <laughs> 4 of swords, the king of pentacles. You're also channeling someone. You're channeling a king of pentacles type. This man is loyal, stable, grounded. Why the two of swords? Judgment. Bear with me, guys. Gotta see what this is about. You gotta end karmic cycles to be with this person. You can't... You could be in that energy group that I just channeled where I was talking about people like ending a karmic soul contract of um, like third parties, fuck boy, fuck girl types, uh, just just like certain energies. It's like you're being like judgment is being called so that this can be unblocked. Tell me more about this. Six of Pentacles, the levers. It's kind of like making a choice to end karmic contracts. <clears throat> yeah, because for some, it's like, and I don't think you have to wait a long time. But for some, as you're manifesting new love, you might have multiple options and you need to actually wait for the right one. Don't just go for the first one that comes along. You know what I mean? Like, wait for the actual King of Pentacles. Beware of imposters. Beware of, because your energy, especially if you're becoming, you know, you're going from being the Queen of Cups to being the Empress. The Empress is probably like the most seductive woman in the entire deck. She's all four queens combined. 
um, male or female, take it as it resonates. You could be a male and be in this energy group and still be in that empress, that seductive, uh, you know, just pure, just nature energy. It's like fairy energy. I see the empress is kind of like fairy energy since she's connected to nature as well. But anyway, being the empress, you know, you're going to be very charming, very seductive, very powerful. People are going to notice you. People are going to be drawn to you. So if you've been in a period of loneliness, it's like you still need to use discernment because you might have multiple people coming in at once and you need to be able to tell who the actual king of pentacles is. Tell me more about this. Let's wrap this reading up. Yeah, you got to walk away from what's no longer serving you. Could be people, could be patterns, could be dead end jobs, even living situations. Um, and do the healing work. And then you manifest your emperor. So I feel like this king of pentacles emperor type. It's like he's around. He's in your energy field. The magician. I think you guys both manifested each other actually. Ooh, the sun. This is like a power couple. This is a very strong, very positive relationship. You guys are both very powerful manifestors. You could even be both witches or both be psychics or something as well. Like you both have very strong spiritual abilities. And you're going to balance each other out. The sun. Yeah, the sun is the happiest card in the deck. So this is going to be a good relationship. But um, but yeah, just, just be mindful. Use discernment. Don't go for the first option thinking that, you know, like, what if I don't get another option? Like, don't go for someone. Like, if someone asks you out and you're kind of just, like, you get, like, a bad feeling about them or you're like, oh, I don't know. Like, I don't, like, something feels off. Like, you get a little bit of a controlling vibe. Don't just go for it because it's, like, because you're tired of waiting and you're like, oh, I don't know if this emperor is ever going to come in. You know what I mean? It's like you're going to manifest, I think, a lot of different options at once. And it's going to be really easy for you to just get caught up and be like, oh, my God, like, I have all this attention and, like, there's all these hot guys or hot girls or whoever. Like, but, but you know, have, like, self-discipline. Take your time getting to know people, observing people. Before you accept any offers, make sure that you, you know, make sure it's the real deal first, because like I said, there's going to be some imposters and there's only one of them that's going to be the true emperor, your true divine match that's been manifesting you just as you've been manifesting them. So anyway, I hope this resonates for you. I'm going to go ahead and put this out there. Thank you guys for watching.